Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Julia McNeil Crafts. So today I am going to make something um, for what we are calling the hashtag all together now. Um, this was discussed between the lovely Denise from Samantha Kay, Chairman from Dolly Dimples and Emma, um, Emma Blake who has her own crafty stamps um, as well. And they discussed doing this challenge that every day that we all share something, um, it's doesn't have to be brand appropriate, um, it's just creating um, together. And what we're doing is we're sharing the makes in my group, in Chairman's group, in um, Emma's group and in the Samantha K group. So we've all got an album and we're going to be um, sharing our makes. I'm, I saw that they were doing it and asked if I could join the party <laughs> and they very kindly said yes. So I missed the first day which was yesterday um, but I'm going to get this up and so this is day two. If you'd like to learn more about it I will link all the Facebook groups um, down below. But let's get making. What I have done is it, I'm sure like many, <laughs> the first thing I did when I hit isolation status was start on my craft room. So I've had a good sort out. Um, I have cleared away a load of stuff. I have um, rediscovered a lot of stuff that I'd forgotten. <laughs> and now I'm sort of in that mode of, right, come on, let's just use up <laughs> what we've got. I think we're all sort of in that position now that, yes, we're all worried about the virus and um, even if we're maybe not in the high risk category, we've got loved ones that are and yeah, it's a lot of worry about. And then of course the impact it's going to have on everybody um, financially, um, it's bound to have an impact, it's having an impact on businesses, whether all the prices are all going to go up after this um, is over and all of this sort of stuff. So why not... Um, use what we have. I think if we are like any cra any crafters, we all have <laughs> quite a quite a stash um hidden away in our <laughs> in our crafty space. So this is me. What I've done um today is I've just taken a load of scraps that sort of coordinate out of my box of scraps and I'm just going to make this um tag. I have no plan, I have no idea what I'm doing um, I am just right now sticking random bits of paper down and then if by the end of this I have managed to, I would love to say put a dent in my stash but in, <laughs> in reality that's never going to happen. I once put myself on a um, crafting spending ban for six months thinking you know that'll really put a big dent in my stash. Uh, I could barely notice the difference to be honest. But anyway, if I can manage to put a dent in my bag of scraps. So I currently have just um, a poly bag um, with bits, scraps and things in it. Um, and they sort of get squirreled, squirreled away into there. Um, I thought, well, let's see if I can make a dent on that at least. That would be, that would be something. Um, and so I've just pulled out a few bits of paper um, from that. I have no idea what these brands are, where they've come from. Um, they've ended up in my scrap bin somewhere along the line. Um, so yeah, I'm just randomly now just um, tearing them up and sticking them to this um, tag. And then <laughs> once, once I've got them stuck down there, we can have a little work out uh, what we are doing with it all. So. Yeah, so how's everybody getting on? What are you doing to keep yourself entertained and sane in this madness? One thing I'm doing is not watching the news. Um, I don't really think there's much more to learn about COVID-19, to be honest. Um, we're in lo the lockdown position now. Um, and what I tend to do is just put it on um, at the end of the day. Um, I actually don't even watch it. I go online and um, I read the latest because obviously it's important to be abreast of it but literally if you have the tv on it's just on at 24 7 and i just think it is like we're all fully aware of the situation that we're in and it just gets more and more depressing the more that you watch so i am currently sort of keeping up to date with it and as i said my daughter if you watch the last or i don't know what order these videos are going in to be honest um my daughter's struggling with it she's struggling not having her routine, she's scared, you know, she touched her ear the other day and went into meltdown thinking germs are going in her ear. Um, but right now she is currently um, 
on a Zoom chat because I used Zoom in the past um, in my old job before I started doing arts and crafts as a job. Um, I used it for holding business meetings. So she's got a couple of her friends on a Zoom chat right now and they um, they started off playing. They've been playing but now they're playing schools. So she's actually come through and said, Mom, can I have the homework that I was meant to do? We're going to play schools and do that. So, so oh well, so we're even managing to get that done. So that's a that's an achievement. Um, yeah, so we're we're getting there, and I think like we're in this situation, we have no control over it, um, but we can control um, how we deal with it. We ca can control that, um, and so yeah, let's just let's just go with that. I think <laughs> that's the safest option. Um, but everybody's different. Some people need to keep on track. So whatever is right for you, do that. I know that I'm in a few WhatsApp groups with different friends and we're chatting that way um, but then I've had other friends that have had to take themselves out of it because they couldn't cope with all the all the chatting that was actually making them worse. So I just think realising what's right for you and um, doing that. But I am hoping, I have, like I want to be part of, you know, the process that makes you, makes this bearable. Um, so I am planning on putting up freebies and stuff. I want to get ahead with recording so that I can be putting up regular videos because I realise that my parents, they're in, they're in the high risk category. My dad's in the extremely high risk category. So I know they're stuck at home for, you know, 12 weeks. I've got other friends that are going to be in it for the long haul as well. Um, so, you know, I feel sorry for you guys and if I can sort of lighten lighten the mood a little bit for a short period of time um, by giving you something to watch other than the news then that that would be something right I've only got this paper that's big enough I'm sort of like just waffling I love those hearts um, Right, I think what I'm going to do is just pop that across there and then that is a base for, for me to work on. So the idea of this is just to make something every day. It doesn't even have to be craft related. At the minute I'm not getting a huge amount of time to craft because I'm having to keep my um, daughter entertained and safe and feeling secure and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but the idea is like, you know, if you've baked a cake, share that with us. If you've sat and done some fussy cutting, watching TV and Netflix, share that with us. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter if it's a finished project or not. Just share it with us and you'll find a bunch of supportive crafters that are all wanting to help each other through this madness. And um, hopefully by the end of it, we'll all be a lot closer. I think we're all going to appreciate life a lot more after this um, simple things in life I know that every time every time I see people hug in a film I'm like oh a hug <laughs> you know just not being able to go and hug your loved ones um, you know little things like that will suddenly well, I don't think we'll ever ever take them for granted again will we so um, don't really know what I'm doing now I was quite liking it now I'm not sure if I'm liking it now that I've put horizontal stuff there as well um, yeah, I actually think what I'm going to do is just rip along that. I was sort of thinking of an idea of a pocket, but I'm not loving how that's looking now. So I'm taking it off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's that sorted. And I'll just put another little bit in there. So, right. I think once I've done that, let's get a bit of gesso out and knock it back. I've got my bit box next to me because, as I said, I'm trying to use up stash. I don't have much in my bit box at the minute because um, actually I, when I did my, um, what to call it, the stash busting one with the fabulous Debbie, Deb, that um, I actually managed to clear quite a lot from my bit box as well. So I might have a look in my bit box. I might also just have a look to the side, see what I've got that goes with goes with these colours. So um, I'm just going to pause the video a second and get my gesso. Okay, so I am going to grab a bit of this gesso and I'm just going to blend some of these elements together. I think this is when it stops looking quite so random um, because we tie it together so it looks like they seem like they work, they're getting along. <laughs> looks like it's meant to be rather than we've just got a whole load of mishmash papers from our back, which is what we've actually done. <laughs> 
and, and makes it one. It suddenly becomes one of those fancy collage papers now that you see in the books, in, in your crafting paper books that you buy, rather than sort of random odds and ends. Okay, so let's get that in there. I'm kind of tempted actually to just stick with just using scrap paper. Um, I've not done any sort of what do you call it, like collage scenes with scrap paper. Um, so I'm thinking that that actually might be quite nice to do. So um, I'm going to grab a stencil, have a bit more interest in the background and then I'll work out what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm thinking quite by accident I've managed to choose colours that um, are sort of quite neutral for creating a, a nice back, um, you know, like a scene building thing. So that's quite fortuitous. So I'm just going to put some dots over that. Oh, I like, I like, I like. Right, um, I'll get some smaller dots on there as well. Is it just me or can you just never have too many dotty stencils? I kind of want to make my own dotty stencils. I think I will. <laughs> I want my own dots. <laughs> still use everyone else's dots but yeah okay so I added a few dots across there as well and then I'm thinking I've got this cloud cloud stencil so I'm going to put a few little a few little sort of bits down like this to create a little bit of a cloudy oops a little bit of a cloudy effect cloud in, why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this looks like now at all, but hey, I'm having fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Oh, the outside world is blocked out for a little while and we're just, we're just playing in our craft room. Okay, I think that'll do it for it just now because I'm, I'm not overly sure of the direction that we're going to go. And Right, so what I'm going to do now is um, I am going to grab some papers from my scrap bin. I'm going to cut out random shapes and then I'm going to edge them with Distress Ink. Um, I am just going to pop you on fast forward while I do all of that though. up and everything was okay for you um as you can see I'm just going to sort of build a, a little um sort of caravan park scene thing <laughs> so yeah off camera I have um done some um doodling so I cut all the shapes out um random don't try me perfect. My circles aren't perfect. My my um, lines aren't perfect. I think for this particular technique, the more random you can make it look, the better. <laughs> the better it actually looks. Um, so it's quite a it's quite a nice one in that you know you don't have to feel that you have to worry and aim for getting it absolutely perfect because it's not intended to be and it's just a fun way of using up using up your scraps. So yeah I just cut them into random shapes. Um, I always find that if I distress the edges that it just looks a little bit more cohesive um, in, in the long run. It just I just find it looks that wee bitty that wee bitty better. Um, 
and yeah so I always find it it makes it look like it was meant to be rather than just a bunch of scraps and um, but like what I was saying earlier with the background so I do find um, I think in my original design I didn't have a stock for that one but I'm kind of wishing I had so I might go back and get get a little stock for that now so I'm just going to stick this down and then I may do little bits of um, stamping now I'm thinking I might want that on 3d foam so I think let's have a play with some stamps first um, actually I can just stick that there like so and then we've kind of got that one done without me having to rustle through my bag and make another piece I'll just make it work like so Right, so I'm just going to have a little grab of some stamps. Okay, so I've actually just pulled out a couple of my stamps. Um, this is the flower from Alice. Um, so I'm going to stamp that a few times in the background. And we may put a quick amount of colour on it. Um, oops. And it, it isn't going to stamp perfectly because we are on an uneven surface. Um, so again, it's like not being too precious. I'm just going to try and get it a little bit better. There we go. Not being too worried about it if it doesn't quite turn out. It's really not a problem at all. So I'm just going to um, put some of those in um, there. Just a few in the background. Um, I'm not sure. I might quickly colour them in. Not over, Not like perfect colouring. I'm not worrying too much about my shading or anything in these because it is just a background element. The majority of it is most likely going to be covered um, with other of the collage elements. So it's just to sort of give it a little bit of like diff um, make it pop from from the rest of it so that you can actually see that there's a bit of a, a flower there. But at the minute I'm just sort of looking for a suggestion of it rather than a than a perfect image so I'll just colour those quickly in like so and then I have also got um, this little grass um, stamp so what I'm going to do is um, just quickly quite near the top actually because the caravan is going to be covering most of this so I've got a green ink there um, so this is um, bamboo leaves um, from Memento. I'm actually going to pop these up quite high in these areas here so that, again, it just sort of maybe looks like we're in a, in a field of, of grass. So it's like the horizon line behind behind the caravan. So as I said, it's just it just gives an extra, extra little touch. And I'm just going to briefly put some across the bottom but I'm not worrying too much about it because we've got the grass that we've cut out but what I will do is just put some along the caravan here as well okay and then I've got a little solid flower from this set here so this is from um, Wonderville so I'm just going to grab that little flower and we can dot that in various places in the background as well. Okay, I'll just get a different coloured ink. So I've got an orange ink pad here and I'm just, I've got the stamp on my finger and I'm just going to dot it in various places. Um, I may also just pop some of those on the, the actual caravan as well. And then I've got um, rhubarb stock, which is a slightly different colour. My favourite colour of these has actually sort of dried out a little bit. Um, I've got a little, what's it called, rose rosebud. So I might have to reinvest in some of those. So I'm not worried about this area too much because I know the bulk of that's going to be covered up. But um, just adding a bit of detail in the rest of the in the rest of the piece, really. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my 3D foam and we'll get that caravan down. So, so what have you made? Are you are you keeping yourself entertained with crafting with all of this going on, or is crafting going out the window because you've got too much to have to deal with now? What's how are you managing 
think it is true. We're all, it's very unusual that we're all sort of facing a similar challenge at the same time. Quite often we can have similar experiences to other people but at different times or we know of somebody that's going through something but for us all to be sort of facing it at the same time is very unusual. Um, so it is a bit strange but at the same time um, it kind of means that because we're all in the same boat and we're all dealing with it at the same time that there is that sort of empathy that maybe we wouldn't normally have um, like obviously we have empathy for other people I'm not saying that we don't but um, sort of more fellow understanding if we actually sort of get it <laughs> because we're there we're there ourselves so yeah right so I'm going to put some of my fake my little grass strands down here as well so I'm just going to layer a few of these different ones um, up and then I'll probably neaten it down with scissors in just a moment and then we'll tuck a few of those flowers in. I have to say I'm quite chuffed with how this turned out. Considering when I actually sat down to make something, it was more of kind of like, oh, I have to make something for the um, the hashtag um, all together now. And uh, that was it. I had, had no plan whatsoever at all. Um, so considering that, I'm actually really chuffed. I've turned ended up with something that's okay-ish. So that's good. And I've attacked some of my scraps. So I feel like I've accomplished something. Like so far, like I feel like the time that I have, I have accomplished something. In some respects, lots of things are on hold. I have lots of sort of business exciting things planned and they've all just had to be on hold for the minute. But I think everybody's in the same boat with that. Um so now it's kind of let's just let's just manage daily life. Now that's fine, but I'm kind of wishing that I'd got. Sorry. See, you can change your mind halfway through if you can get it off. Right. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking now that too much of my caravan's hiding, so I'm going to sort of pop that a bit higher so I'm not losing too much of it and I'm also going to have it sort of behind the grass um, and under the grass as well so yeah I feel like I needed to see a bit a bit more of it <laughs> so I'll get that down there and then we can just put a few more bits and pieces there and tidy that up a little bit but I think I think it's looking quite good and also whilst I was going through my scrap papers um, I found I think this is bow bunny paper and it had a sentiment on it and it had little flowers so I sort of made sure that I'd saved the sentiment and the little flowers first so I kind of um, you might have seen that I sort of chopped those bits out first um, and then and then um, left yeah, chop those bits out first and then cut my shapes out of the bits that were left um, just to make sure that I actually that I actually had them. So that was that was quite a fortuitous find that I wasn't expecting. So I'm very pleased with that. So I'm just gonna as I said stick this down here now and then let's just neaten this up a little bit. I kind of do want it sort of overhanging slightly. But I just I'm going to neaten it with the base of the tag so I'm just going to um, run along with my scissors here so I am cutting through the 3D foam and all sorts of things here so I always I mentioned once that I would uh, do a video on how I keep my scissors sharp because um, yeah I really do abuse them <laughs> and yet they survive okay I'm going to stick that back down that seems to have fallen off but that's okay right I think it's looking okay. I think it's looking okay. So I am quite pleased. Right. Um, let's have a little look. Let's pop some florals. Got some lovely florals here that we've managed to that we've managed to find. So I'm going to take advantage of those. Let's pop plenty of those in the foreground, like so. And then I think I will um, save some for for up and around the caravan. So, get 
Bible stone. So kind of tucked, tucked in, in amongst it. And I think sort of overlaying and have some bits at the foreground, some bits tucked behind, it just adds to the level of interest that we are managing to create with this. So yeah. I'm quite pleased. I want a quirky bird on it somewhere, so once I have stuck this down, I think we're going to be playing um, read the stash a little bit to see what we can find. Um, I'm just going to have a few, a few flowers coming up. Like so. Okay, and then I've got my love hearts there. And um, we've also got the, um, which that could go on. So take time, take some time to daydream. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down. I feel, oops, got something stuck. Let's oh, just, a bit of glue there. I feel I want some clouds. So I am just going to cut some clouds out of plain white cardstock. And I am going to find a little quirky bird somewhere because I feel I want a quirky bird on it somewhere. Um, so I'm going to have, just have a little rake through to see what I have. And then I think we are pretty much almost there. Okay, I was very fortuitous that I managed to find a sentiment because I like a sentiment on everything. So I'm quite delighted that that happened. <laughs> quite by accident but a very happy one that is for sure and we do like happy accidents when it comes to crafting okay so i will be back in a second when i have found what i need okay so i have built my clouds so i've just used plain white cardstock i have put a tiny bit of distress ink uh, peacock feathers and i've used my black um pen and my little doodling pen just to add the detail just so that it looks exactly the same as um, the rest of the tag it sort of suits the style because it all it all works um, together and I'm going to pop a tiny one here and then I found some puffy stickers um, I love doing stuff like this because like yeah there's no two ways about it they are they are children's stickers <laughs> But I love that how on something like this it kind of it kind of works. I'm actually gonna chop his leg off. Shh <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> no flamingos were hurt in the production of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick a little little uh, flamingo there. It's just that I want him sort of popping popping there by the camper van. Okay. And then I think we've got I could put another one another one back here. Does that look random? Very, but I suppose the whole thing's a tad random. So let's put our little flamingos in there. What else have we got? Look on, look on, look on. <laughs> okay, and then I've got some more here with like little mushrooms and snails. So, um, yeah. I think we're needing mushrooms and snails. So again, I'm just gonna kind of pop them in amongst in amongst it all. Because they are just too cute for words. Another little snail here. Oh, this is just too cute. I'm loving it. I love love love. I need a pink pink mushroom. I mean, where else would you get mushrooms and flamingos on holiday together? Well, mushrooms, snails and flamingos. <laughs> oh dear, insanity is kicking in. Yeah, so we've got a few of these little stickers going on. That's just adding a little fun element to the the um, project there so yeah I think that's quite cool right so I am just going to add a border so um, I'm just going to draw a little border and then colour the squares in like so 
but I'll just finish that off camera. Okay, so finally I'm going to put the hole back into the tag. Oops. I was going to just do it with my crocodile, but I actually want it quite big. <laughs> I want the hole quite big, but I suppose I can punch a few. There we go. So I'm just going to, it's not going to, it is, well it is going to look amazing when I turn it around, but by the, by the time I've got the ribbons through it, you're not going to notice that that's not the <laughs> most even punch hole, so that's fine. And also, whilst I was getting some ribbons, um, I noticed I had these little leafy things in um, my bit box, so I thought, seeing as, seeing as we're on a bit of a stash bus busting mission, um, oops, why not use those as well? So I'm just going to add those in. Okay, and then I was going to get some different ribbons. Okay, so I've got this one that was for some reason in my bit box as opposed to in my um, ribbon box. Um, so, okay, I'm just going to get a few different ones. So I've got this one, this one, I'll see what okay, else we've so got. So I've got three here. different ribbons and three different lengths, but I'm just sort of putting the middle together of all of, she says. I'm putting the middle in the same place for all of them, like so. And then I am just going to scrunch that together so it will go through this hole. I might have to tease it a little bit because I am being quite ambitious with the amount of ribbon that I'm trying to pull through. Once I've got it, it'll be fine. There we go. And then once I have got it through, I will get that loop. There we go. And the rest of the ribbons will pull through that loop and then tighten it up and then chop it down. And then I've just noticed that I've got my little hearts there that I, you know, took the time to fussy cut out. So I think we definitely need some of those on the project. Right, let's get this tightened up. And then we can cut it down to the sizes that we want. So now I'm just taking each individual ribbon and pulling pulling it tight so that I've, I've got it. Okay, so I'm going to just pop a little V into each of these. So, you know, this is how my mum did my ribbons when, <laughs> when I went to school and had ribbons in her hair. So I'm just going to do that, stops it from fraying a little bit. I can tell my scissors are needing sharpen, those ones have obviously already done it. This is a bit longer than I would have liked, so I'm just going to chop into it. It doesn't matter that I've got a bit left, it will maybe do something with that. We can maybe do a project with scrap ribbons another day. Okay, so there we go. That is all of that done. Let's just add some of these little hearts because it seems a crying shame to not use them when I took the time to cut them out. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick them on and then I think I'll maybe zoom out and let you see um, the project completed. Okay so that is my scrap tack stash busting tag all finished and as I said it is for the hashtag all together now project so I really hope that you'll enjoy join in that we can all kind of be together craft our way through these um, times and yeah if you use that hashtag we will find you as I said there are some great craft companies all taking part in this and here's my tag for today so um I hope you've enjoyed crafting along with me today. If you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back with some more crafty goodness very, very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.